this theme, um, planting seeds for the next seven generations. And uh, so to give you an idea about that, I'd like for you to just uh, uh, for, a, for a moment here, close your eyes and I'm going to um, sing a song for us to uh, come together, put our minds, hearts, spirits, bodies together. There's a prayer, that prayer that goes and that's in there, and it's asking Creator to bless the future generations, the future generations that are yet to come, the ones that we will not see. So when we talk about seven generations, those are the ones we will not see. And we as you know, the people today, it's incumbent upon us to think about those generations that are yet to come, the ones that we will not see. That's where we are here today, at that point of that responsibility, to consider that in all most um, practices today. You know, you have what you call us maybe a five-year strategic plan, 10-year, 20-year strategic plans about a business, perhaps. But what about our basic, our basic uh, life survival? What about that water? What about this air? What about this fire? What about this Mother Earth? What is going to be available for those generations that are yet to come? You have generations. It's not just indigenous people. You all have generations. You're part of a generation. Why not think about that? Why not start putting that in your plans? It's so important. It's so important for us to, you know, take time to really think about those things especially today. Now, uh, right now, in the state of Arizona, like I told you, Hopi, Hopi, Navajo, you know, water flows usually in the rain season. Well, right now, there's a bill, a Senate bill, that is called a Hopi, it's called the Navajo Hopi Water Settlement Act, being introduced by our own Senator McCain and Kyle, Senator Kyle, to take what water is there. We have, there's the aquifer, there's an aquifer that's out under the, the lands of the Hopi and Navajo, but this, this Senate bill, and there's a House bill too, where is where they want to they want these tribes to give up their right to that water 
in exchange so for what for a little bit of water that they will pipe back out onto the reservations the tribal lands but not all not to the entire tribal lands just to maybe three different places but they haven't it's a promise that they're making but there's no money they're saying they're going to do this but they don't have money to pay for it but they want the tribes to give them all our water and you know what they're going to do with that water they're taking they're giving it to a mining company they're going to give it to another um, a power an electric company to take that water out of the reservation into mining take the water out of the reservation across the state state and into California different parts of some southern Arizona cities that's what they want to do with this water and when the tribes of course our first response is you know this is our life when we say this is our life blood it literally is our life blood it is if they were there to take that water the people who live there on those lands what little right now on those lands there are actually still people who do not have one running water in their homes they do not there's no um, water delivery system in communities what they do is they go to the springs still today they travel out to the springs and they fill their jugs and their t water tanks and they bring the water back to their homes and this is what they use to water their their livestock because they have livestock their sheep their horses their cattle they still pr are self self subsistent and they rely on that water that way so you take that water away and the water that they're promising to give back to them is only water that they will be they're saying will be for household use so what I'm saying about taking care of these the water the elements is very real you know very real to us very real because it can be taken by an act of Congress by an act of Congress they can look at our people and say we're going to pass this law and that water is going to be ours and we're expected to say yeah sure okay we're at this point where this consciousness the consciousness about uh, the original instructions is like surfacing in a stronger way than ever before it's it's unfortunate that I, I feel I feel um, sad because I have heard 10 years ago by a representative of the United Nations say that the next wars are going to be over water and they're already preparing I mean right here in our own country so this is this is um, you know 
just one piece of it. I mean, it's, it's huge. It's, there's, there's a lot more to it. A lot more to it. But when, when I'm sharing, I'm sharing this with you because, um, because it's, um, it's so easy to overlook the importance of taking care of these basic foundations when everything seems so orderly, everything is in order. Every, you know, you, I mean, we're driving through the woods and looking around and wow, trees everywhere, water. And it's really, you know, um, what a contrast. What a contrast. But, you know, these are some of the issues that, you know, we're, we're dealing with about and our concerns about the next seven generations that are yet to come, the ones we will not see. Mm -hmm.